Have you lied in bed with a whirlwind of thoughts and emotions? You try and try but you cannot get it to shut down and go to sleep. Eckhart Tolle explains this clearly in one of his question and answer sessions. When you hear the thought, why can't I stop my mind? Don't believe it because you can stop your mind. There must be this minimum awareness. You must realize that this thought is futile and you don't need it. This minimum awareness is important so we don't get identified with the mind activity. Nobody has ever solved a problem worrying at night. The mind keeps saying, don't stop thinking, keep thinking. From this minimum awareness, we choose to direct it somewhere else. There might be a tug of war between your mind and where you want it to go. But we should keep trying. Take a conscious breath and say, I don't want to think anymore. It's futile and it hurts. And then ask yourself, can I feel the energy in my hands? In other words, can I feel that my hands are there without touching anything? Can I feel that there is an energy inside my hands? There is a slight tingling or liveness that you can feel when the energy goes in there. And that's a big step that you have already taken. Because immediately thinking will slow down. It no longer has your whole attention. Then see, can you incorporate the whole body? Can you sense your legs and arms? Consciousness will move to the body and there will be little left for the thoughts. It takes attention away from thinking into the body. This is the beginning of body awareness which is a powerful anchor for the presence. The amazing thing is what before was an unpleasant, dreadful, sleepless night, within a few minutes can actually be transformed into a very pleasant experience of feeling the inherent and aliveness in your whole body. The moment will come when you will actually enjoy being awake in your bed instead of the agony you felt earlier. The mind will try to bring new thoughts to take the attention away from the body. You have the power to choose where your attention goes. Don't believe your mind when it says you can't do it. Do it again and again. You feel intensely alive, no thinking. In summary, this quick exercise helps us realize that whatever it is, it's not happening here and now. So memories are thoughts that arise. They are not realities. When you believe that they are real, then they have power over you. But when you realize it's just another thought arising about the past, then you can find a space, a spacious relationship with thought, so thought no longer has you in its grip.